Hi guys, so this is a course intro for SPH for you, which is grade 12 physics. In this course, I'm going to be following along the grade 12 Nelson textbook for physics. My name is Sandra Fang, and I'm going to be your instructor for this course. My goal for this course is to make grade 12 physics as enjoyable as possible and as easy to understand as possible. I'm obviously going to be as real as possible with you guys, so let me just tell you straight up, physics was my least favorite class in high school. It wasn't until taking physics in uni that I gained an appreciation for the concepts that we were learning, so I really hope that my videos can serve as a study tool, and I will be sharing some of my old high school test questions with you guys so you can prepare for your assessments. I'm just going to go through this syllabus really quickly so you know what to expect from this course. Starting off with Unit 1, which is Dynamics. So in Chapter 1, it's Kinematics, the study of motion. So we'll be reviewing kinematics terms and the equations of motion and then applying that to problem solving. Chapter 2 is about Dynamics, so what forces produce this motion. So we'll be reviewing forces and free body diagrams as well as some theory and then applying that to problem solving. And then lastly in this unit, Chapter 3, which is Uniform Circular Motion. We'll be talking about different reference frames as well as what produces this uniform circular motion. Moving on to Unit 2, which is Energy and Momentum. This covers Chapter 4 and 5. Chapter 4, we're going to be learning about work and energy. So we'll be covering how to calculate different energies as well as some of the theory behind that and then applying that to problem solving. Chapter 5, we'll be learning about momentum and then applying the theory to solve problems involving collisions. So now for Unit 3, which is Gravitational, Electric, and Magnetic Fields. Chapter 6 is about gravitational fields, so learning about the theory and then applying it to solve problems involving orbits. Chapter 7 involves electric fields, and then Chapter 8 is covering magnetic fields. Moving on to Unit 4, which is Wave Nature of Light. So Chapter 9 is about waves and light, so the theory behind it as well as some properties and experiments. And then in Chapter 10, we'll be applying the wave nature of light to solve some problems. The last unit will be Revolutions in Modern Physics, which covers Chapter 11 and 12 in the textbook. So Chapter 11 is about relativity, so we'll be learning about some theory and then applying that to problem solving. Chapter 12 is about quantum mechanics, which is very much theory based. And then of course we'll end it off with a review session for each of the units in order to emphasize the most important concepts learned throughout the unit. 